Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to go over our new collaborative quoting feature in Vive. The whole purpose and the reason that we created this feature was we wanted to reduce the back and forth between our partners and your potential prospects. So what we did was we enabled it, the ability to have conversations on the quotes. So you can chat back and forth, which I'll show you today, as well as your clients can edit quantities. They can update their service address if they notice that you that it was uh, entered into the system wrong, potentially. Um, so a lot of really cool features that enhance the quoting process, as well as e-signature. And then you'll see kind of lays the path for us to iterate on this feature and make the onboarding of your end customers easier uh, down the road. So first thing that you'll notice is you have these chat bubbles here on each line item. So for example, um, facts, you'll notice I put a comma on here that we're gonna put a 10% discount on this proposal. So I'll go ahead and, and put that place that discount there and then also you'll notice down here in the bottom we have the ability to have a conversation about the entire quote so you can have a conversation about the entire quote here or you can comment on individual line items over here at the top and then you'll see if somebody does comment back which I'll show you in a second how that works you'll get a notification within the chat uh, as well so the first thing that happens once uh, you want to send over this quote is you're going to go down to the bottom, you'll hit email quote, and then you'll put the customer email address just like you see mine in here, and you'll send it over to them. And our system is going to send them an email that looks just like this, but of course it's going to be with your branding, your URLs, that type of stuff. It's going to have the PDF of that proposal attached, and then we provide them a one-time magic link for them to log into the system that does expire. Uh, so the cool thing about these magic links is we we make it a really like a frictionless log login for your for your prospects they don't have to sign in or anything like that it is just a hash secure way uh, for them to view these proposals but again to make it frictionless and to make that sales process as easy as possible so the first thing up at the top here you'll notice is they have the ability to update their address so if they notice that uh, you know this is the wrong um, address we're actually in a firm drive in North Bend Ohio right they can come in here and they can make those changes to the quote and it'll actually update all their taxes just like you saw there so that all happens automatically um, within the proposal in addition to that you also see the comment that I made here with a little notification that shows that they put a 10% discount you know as the customer will play that role today we can uh, thank you so much for that discount right and in addition to that we also see here that the quantities are editable so if I wanted fax email I said there's four here but now I actually need 44 you'll notice it'll auto update the quantities the taxes that will all happen um, automatically there for your customer now down here at the bottom we give them a few options they can either decline this proposal and if they decline it they can select a reason why which will notate within vibe with some notes just like a CRM there and then we also have the option next right if they want to move forward so we give them two options when they want to move forward. They can either submit the quote for your review, and that would be if they're changing um, quantities or, or anything like that. They want to submit it back because uh, you don't want them to automatically approve that. You want that to go through your review process first. Or if they want to accept the quote as is, meaning the way that you sent it, they can say, let's do this. This is where your customizable terms and conditions will appear, as well as we have an e-signature agreement for them. So they can go through and sign this contract for you. They can check to accept your terms of conditions and then once they accept the quote which you'll notice here down at the bottom there's this little download button and it'll actually download a signed copy of that proposal that we put together so everything that we we just went over is on that proposal but just like you see here now we have the e-signature it's got a date and timestamp as well down here at the bottom we have the whole remote ip address signature and timestamp down there um, so it is definitely a legitimate e-signature contract that you can now move forward with Beyond that, if we go and navigate back to the portal in Vibe, and I refresh here, I have a couple notifications. So first at the top, I have a notification that the quote was accepted, and I can click into that and it'll bring me right to this quote just like you see here. I have these notifications on the comments just from that, that collaborative quoting kind of um, deal that we talked about before. And now you'll notice also that this quote is not editable, and that's because it's moved into an accepted status automatically. So we hope you get a lot out of this uh, new collaborative quoting feature and uh, we have a lot more coming for you as well.